While we had some beautiful sunshine over this weekend, we also saw some very pretty sunrises and sunsets. This was actually taken Saturday night, calling this Jack Sunset because normally we get these pictures in almost weekly from our friend Jack Valley, who's out in Chicopee. He so sadly passed away this weekend. So his son Steve caught this great sunset and uh, said it was just perfect. You know, it was it was like he contributed to it, which wouldn't surprise me at all. So a shout out to Jack and his family, and of course we will miss his beautiful photos. As we take a look out to all of our sky cams this afternoon, one thing in common, we have blue sky and sunshine, but it is blustery out there and that is definitely adding a chill. Temperature wise though, we are above normal. We're at 40 currently in Aguam and looking out from our sky cam, you can see the Connecticut River is a little bit churned up there as we've been dealing with a steady wind coming straight down out of the north. The culprit here is low pressure. It's actually not been moving much over the weekend. It's brought a sizable snowstorm to Nova Scotia. Uh, I did see someone on Twitter actually or X or whatever the heck it's called now, uh, report that they had about five feet of snow in one part of Nova Scotia. So very impressive storm for them. We actually have high pressure that's back to our west too. So stuck in between those two systems and that's bringing that wind straight down out of the north. But we also have sunshine. The cloud cover from this storm remaining mostly offshore, which is nice. As we take a look at year 24, we'll continue with brisk conditions tonight. Skies remain mostly clear and temperatures will be dropping back into the 20s. Now, if we didn't have the wind, temperatures tonight would be dropping dropping into the single digits because it's incredibly dry. But the breeze will help to keep temperatures from getting too low. I would say either side of 20 degrees again is looking likely where we were this morning, but the breeze will add a wind chill, so it's going to feel like teens for everybody. We have plenty of sunshine on tap again for our Tuesday, with temperatures climbing above freezing in the morning and ending up similar to where we were today, back into the upper 30s to near 40 degrees in the valley. Breezes will be ongoing tomorrow, staying sustained at about 10 miles an hour, but occasionally getting a little bit higher. On Wednesday, Wednesday, that low is finally pushing out to the east. So wind will lighten up back down to about 5 to 10 miles an hour, and it gets lighter still on Thursday as high pressure builds across New England. Temperatures are also going to be on the rise, too. After tomorrow, once that low starts moving away, we lose that northerly flow. That flow will start shifting more to the south and west, which pulls the temperatures up into the 40s. We also have a ridge of high pressure in the upper levels of the atmosphere. Could we approach mid-50s on Saturday? We're not ruling it out. I'm not going quite that high yet, but it is a possibility. And the reason for that, not just the ridge, but a warm front passes through Friday night with a chance for a shower. Then we're waiting for a cold front on Saturday. So we could have some gusty southerly breezes and temperatures well into the 50s for Saturday afternoon. And then a couple of showers come through Saturday night with our cold front. Following that, temperatures will gradually start getting cooler or more seasonable as we head into the following week. Chris and Abby.